Hello everyone, this is Evie the Original Master here, and you're lucky today because I'm doing a second upload today, just like I did yesterday. So, um, the reason why I'm doing a second upload is because that A, I'm enjoying uploading videos during the summer, and B, is that I have more Spongebob Squarepants The Roblox Series announcements for you guys, and this one is huge. In fact, this is my biggest update yet. So, I've thought of something really cool now, you guys. Um, since um, the Roblox series is all about Spongebob, of course, I'm thinking about doing more Spongebob elements to it. Meaning that I really do want the show to really be like the TV series regarding to music. Yes, I'm thinking about adding Spongebob music now to the Roblox series is to make the show a little bit more to the original series on Nickelodeon that are still currently making episodes. I won't be using it throughout the entire show, but I will be using some Spongebob music from time to time. If you guys didn't know that, um, the ending of the divorce episode actually had the slight whistle song, which was actually from the Spongebob soundtrack to the ending, because I, I thought the song was pretty catchy and I wanted to add that to the ending. So yeah, let's talk, stop talking about that and let's discuss what I want to discuss. So, um, opening credits. So, um, I'm, ex I'm expanding my opening credits for it to be like the ones on, on Spongebob. If you guys don't know, after the title card, it shows the opening credits. It has this background of the, it shows a sandy background with the rocks and you see the, the, the water, the ripple effect. That's how it is in Spongebob Squarepants when they show the opening credits after the title card. So I am now doing that to the Roblox series instead of the black screen saying narrated by me, um, programs, Roblox Studios, snipping tool, sound recorder. I'm expanding that to the next level. In fact, at the ending of this announcement video, I will include the clip of the example that I'm talking about because on Friday... I am working on a new mini short for the Roblox series known as Patrick Song. That mini short will be out on Friday. So yes, I'm thinking about doing another mini short for SpongeBob SquarePants the Roblox series. So that, that the opening the opening credit video that I will show you guys that I'm going to include at the very end is actually the opening title card for Patrick Song. It's not the entire episode, it's just the opening credits to show you guys what it's going to look like throughout the remainder of the Roblox series. It's because that I want my series to be almost identical to Spongebob Squarepants and I find it a lot better that way. And no, um, the font for the opening credits is not the Spongebob font. I'm using the font given to me from Windows. So yes, that's, and plus it's hard. And plus, I honestly don't know how they made the, the Spongebob font fade in and fade out. Because if you watch Squidward's, Squidward with hair, he has been doing these fan episodes and when he does the opening credits for the for like the name of the the executive producer it showed the spongebob squarepants font but it fade in and then fade it out i don't know how you do that so that's the reason why i'm not doing that because i honestly don't know and i don't have time to look that up but instead um I, i'll just use the, the microsoft font that they gave me on windows movie maker i'll just use that font style instead and then I'm also thinking about using Spongebob Squarepants backgrounds is because I actually went online and there's actually title card backgrounds, meaning that were backgrounds used for the timestamps, um, the title cards. I mean, I mean not the timestamps, the time cards. You know, in the Spongebob episode, it says three days later, five hours later. Those are the time cards in Spongebob. And then they also have backgrounds for the... Um, for the title cards. They actually have title card backgrounds, meaning backgrounds that they use for the title cards. I will be using those also to make it more like Spongebob. In fact, this year is going to be dedicated to Spongebob because I want the Roblox series to be almost identical to Spongebob now since I've used the font. Now I'm using a little bit of the music and now I'm thinking and now I'm doing the opening credit style that shows, the, it's, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, the, the water, the, the rocks, the sand, the, the opening credits for the Spongebob episodes after the title card is shown. Yes, that's what I meant by the top. You'll, you'll, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen Spongebob. I mean, everyone has seen it. So yeah, that's all I want to give out to you guys. That um, Those are my new announcements that are coming to the Spongebob Roblox series. And um, for now on, um, since I'm doing this approach, 
Um, I'm thinking about including the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song at the beginning of these videos to make it more like SpongeBob SquarePants, but I don't want to do that because that'll make it a little bit too long. And I honestly don't want to do that. So in the in the early, in the earlier days of the Roblox series, I included the 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 title banner and it says SpongeBob SquarePants created by me. I didn't put my username on there. I just put me. That's why I'm going to stop doing that because that's not professional. Calling myself me is stupid. It's not professional. You got to call yourself by your name. So I'm going to call myself by my username. So I'm not putting down directed by me, executive producer me. I'm not putting the word me anymore because that's first person. I want mine to be third person with the, the first. Yeah, 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 third person is your actual name. So yeah. So yeah, for now on, I'm no longer calling myself me in the SpongeBob SquarePants Roblox series titles. I'm calling myself by my username, my YouTube username, EB the Original Master, to be more professional and to be professional with other work. Because you don't, you don't just make a book and write down Arthur Me. You don't put, you don't put the word Me. You got to put down your full name if you want to be an Arthur. I mean, that's how it is. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Hope you guys enjoy this um, sample of the new upcoming opening credits for the Roblox series. You guys are gonna pretty much like it. You might like it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for the, to the, thanks for the likes and everything. I'm not doing this to get views for anything, you guys. I'm only doing this for fun. So if you don't like my channel, don't watch the videos. So with that said, sit back, enjoy this video of a sample of, the, of what you're gonna see throughout the remaining of this Roblox series to expand upon the TV series created by Steven Hillenburg. Thanks for watching, you guys. Sayonara.